It's the second leg of a Great India Drive from Vadodara to Kanyakumari, which started from the Statue of Unity. We are out to explore and pay homage to the greatest titans from across centuries, which is why we started from the very recently built Sardar Vallabhai Patel statue, moving down south to the two hills called Mangitungi, where we visited the statue of Rishabhanta, the first of the 24 giant Tirthankars. And now we are headed to another one. And accompanying me is none other than the Hyundai Venue. And let me tell you, it's been an amazing ride throughout this journey. The next one on our list is the Bahubali statue. Now this is a 57 feet tall monolith statue located at a hilltop in Shravanabelagola. Now why this one? Well, he is the son of Rishabhananta, whose statue we saw in Mangitungi. It is said he meditated motionless for 12 years in the standing posture to attain omniscience and during that time climbing plants grew on his legs. It was built in 981 AD and it's one of the largest freestanding statues in the world. So while the view from here is amazing, we still have a long way to go back down. So let's get back to the Hyundai venue. Long drives on Indian highways can often be very worrying, especially if you have a flat tyre or something even worse. Now often there's nothing for miles altogether, but that's not an issue with the Hyundai Venue. What it has is this SOS feature and with the press of a button, emergency services are dispatched right to your location. How cool is that? After a long 500 or so kilometer journey, I'm closing in Madurai and it's time for some lip smacking food. It's time to move on and we're headed to the southernmost part of the Indian Peninsula, Kanyakumari. It is the last leg of a thousand kilometer journey and so far the distances haven't felt long thanks to the venue making it a comfortable and effortless drive. This car has gone through nearly every kind of road throughout this journey. It's gone through hard sections, through bumpy roads like this and it's even gone through butter smooth highways and the ride quality has really impressed me. Now, I think this is the ideal venue to be in on our Indian roads. I love punning with that one. Kanyakumari being on the southernmost tip of India attracts a lot of tourists. One of the reasons being the Thiruvalluvar statue and the Vivekanand Memorial Rock. 
Both of these attractions are located on small islands where I'm headed right now and that too in a ferry. The 133 feet tall statue depicts Tamil philosopher and poet Baluvar. Now he was the author of Tirukural, an ancient work on social ethics and morality. The statue is located at the Kormandal coast where the Bay of Bengal and Arabian Sea meet with the Indian Ocean. The statue depicts that wealth and love can be earned and enjoyed on a foundation of solid virtue. If you think about it, Baluvar and Vivekanand might have been born centuries apart, but their messages still have a commonality and still resonate as strongly today as they did back in the days. One only has to listen.